Hey, I'm Paloma Dawkins, and I am going to play through my game, Songs of the Lost, with you wonderful people. The score was by the amazing, incredible Jay Lynn, um, and I got to work with my longtime collaborator, Ashley Obscura, to do the writing. Programming is all by Clement Shimizu and Prosh. I'm so grateful to Mip for putting this all together. Let's dive in. We've been working hard in a new world for you, a place called Apocabliss. A security update is required in order to proceed. Please confirm your sentence. Are you human? I am. Thank you for accepting our terms and conditions. Your agency in the old world has been terminated. Your avatar will be activated in the new world we've built for you. In order to access your account, you must obtain a passport at the passport office. Congratulations on choosing the future. You get to update to the new system. Only rich and famous people get to do that. You must be really special or something. I'm coming with you. I want to see what it's like to be important. Let's go through the portal and see what's there. So Ashley and I worked on a game before this and I got her to work with me on this one too because she's amazing. So let's go into this portal. You will need to obtain a passport. Loading. Get ready for a life changing upgrade. And flawless user experience. Now we're in this maze and our mouse friend follows us. Take it from here, champ. Did it for the gram. Boo. I don't even my computer isn't strong enough to like play it at this <laughs> resolution. It's got all these like clouds and stuff which I don't see in my inversion. This is totally the wrong direction, baby. Go back to the sun and seek its luminosity. Ask it where your free will went. I can tell you need it, baby. I love this effect. It's crazy. Pro vaccine. My antidepressants seem lazy today. Like they are pressuring each other not to work. Good thing no one has to work here anymore. Automation has taken all of our jobs. Yep. Gotta pick jobs that robots aren't gonna take. That's <laughs> my only advice. I thought this was supposed to be fun. Where's the party at? This game is kind of like, it's kind of like we're at this like weird rave. We're at like a rave and there's kind of like a VIP section somewhere and we're trying to get into the VIP section. Oh. Passport please. I can't let you through without one. Sneak through the threshold while I distract him. Here have some affection Alpha. Doesn't it feel good? I bet you don't get that much around here hey? Yeah, and like, holy hell, <laughs> probably not. Welcome to dog heaven. <laughs> All dogs go to heaven. That was like my favorite movie when I was a kid. All of these dogs were um, drawings that I did while I was at Chateau Le Wolf in um, New York City, which is like a dog cafe that my friend invited me to, who has a dog. Um, I wasn't like just like a creep like going there like without a dog. I don't I don't think it was creepy either though. You can go without a dog. This is a character from an old game of mine. So many doggos, all dogs go to heaven, but I'm looking for the forest of sad trees. It's around here somewhere. 
Yeah. Probably. I'm gonna pretend like I've never played this before. This character, oh, she's talking again. She's, um, she's from one of my other games, Gardenarium, one of my first games. And um, she's also named Finn the Walking Tree in that one. She's a traveler. She's just going, traveling into all my games. <laughs> To the forest of sad trees, Alvin. But yeah, let's just admire these dogs, maybe a little bit longer. Oh my god, I love dogs. Okay. I love Casper and mushrooms. To the passport office. So we're in the forest of sad trees. How would you like? Characterize sad. Like they're like square. They don't really look that sad. Oh, here's Patchouli. Time has no body. We have bodies, so time can experience love. But time abandons us because it is free. Cool. <laughs> Probably. True. Ooh, a little patch of mushrooms. The trees are online. I'm going to ask them a question. Hey trees, has life itself been cast aside for the sake of building a fantastic future? Or do you think we're supposed to be cultivating some sort of superpower to survive or something? Tough question. They've had time to think about it. Communicating with your kind is a waste of time. You only care about moving yourself forward. You people are so fake, pretending to care about trees, but you don't. Your climate change allyship stunt is so performative. <sighs> climate accountability, more like I need to write a statement of apology to the negative voices who live inside my head. Oh, Casper. Newborn into the future, hey? It's very hard to have a soft heart in end times, but for some reason you're able to move throughout this world easily. If you see Coyote, give this to them. Thanks, Rebel Girl. Let's take a look at this forest again. Ooh. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Many thanks to Clement for um, for making these trees happen. Brought you by Clement. Um, so Clement and I went to Thailand actually for a a jam. So like in the video game world, a lot of the time people will kind of like get together and make uh, a game in like a certain span of time and so um, we were invited to one of these jams in Thailand and we went there for like a week and we met some really great developers and started developing this, the trees that you see. <laughs> and ended up using it for this game. A lot of things in this game are actually inspired by Thailand. This wasn't inspired by Thailand. This is very Escher-esque. Are we lost or are we found? I don't know if I'm good enough to get into Apocalypse. I'm scared they won't like me. Aw, oh, Casper. I still sure love you. Shh, matters busy mattering. So I just really want my passport. I just really want to like party. If you want to come in, you will need to ditch your ratty mouse friend. Who, Casper? Darling, it's too expensive to take care of everyone. 
Oh my god, I can't believe you're ghosting me. Rude. <laughs> I have a friend that stopped playing at this point. They're like, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not ghosting you, Casper. But I'm gonna do it. I'm sorry, Casper. I just, I just want my passport. I wanna, I wanna go to Pocket Blues. <laughs> we are the enlightened creatives and have rightfully earned our place in a pocket bliss worthy of anything and everything. We have stolen the world's rarest colors and put them in a vault so they're not compromised in this upgrade. Cool. Thanks for doing that. I don't, I don't know. Sorry, it seems like the bureaucrats are too busy living in the moment and can't process your passport. You'll have to find another way. Sorry for the inconvenience. We appreciate your patience. This is like honestly all of my experience traveling. So you think you can just wander in here and get a passport? Lol, that's assumptive of you. Human nature has essentially fallen and will continue to fall further from the garden. The secret to getting to Paca Bliss is to vibrate at the highest frequency and to have a filter to beautify your spirit. That's lovely mimosa. There's not a mimosa. Let's get out of there. I mean, oh, there's nothing there. Don't look back. <laughs> no turning back. Eerie. This dragon was inspired by Thailand. Everyone in Thailand um, rides a motorcycle. And that face <laughs> is inspired by a motorcycle. Clement was like, you should make this the dragon. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I can help smuggle you across the river to the border of Apocalypse. It will cost you a lot though. I take cash, credit, check, or a packet from my love in the forest of sad trees. I can't believe I made it this far. It must be pure love. Quick, get into the self-driving boat. I'm trying to act him out. <laughs> it sounds like that. This boat was also inspired by Thailand. This is a long tail boat. Hey, Dragon. All this time you've had FOMO about the end. Be grateful for your autonomy, even if you feel lost. You are lucky that packet of love passed through you. Love is the technology of survival. Dragon 'ing your operating system please design and register your passport so now I get to make my passport it's gonna take a while has anyone ever played spore I don't know I'm upside down yeah I'm gonna get weird with this it's the right audience oh my god Love that shoe. <laughs> you have a shoe? Ah, oh, this leg though, so good. Uh, no, can't force it. This. Oh my god. Did them had a cigarette. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Bobby. <laughs> a good Bobby. Oh my god. Uh, I love him. Okay, though, he needs another leg. Uh, ooh, these are really good, though. What if it's like you like you're taking off your shoes? Like yeah, I'll just put a shoe there. Um, what else can I do? I just I'll just put a book. He's reading. It's gonna be like an eternity. Like better give him a book to read. Welcome to Apocalypse. We are so happy you were here. We are making our own culture here. Awaken, drink from the same dream. Oh, damn. Oh my god. Oh my god, I love this one. That's really good. Oh my god, where, where, where am I though? Ah. <laughs> Wow, a bit too much. Cool. Cool. Rad. Oh my god, that one's hilarious. Yo. Wow, I love this guy. One shoe. Ooh. Ah, there's the, the hand, <laughs> his hands are, okay. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh my god. Whoa. Amazing. They're just so beautiful, all of them. Oh, and the hearts, Oh. Oh my god, his butt is smoking. Oh my god, it's me! It's me! Yay! Oh my god, I'm so happy. <laughs> I see a door. Cool. And then it restarts. That's about it. Thanks for playing with me and uh, make sure you download it. It's for free for Mac and Windows.